Welcome back. Well, on Saturday night, over $25 million was raised when the biggest names in Australian music and television came together, all in the name of helping those impacted by the flood. Now, Lass and I both packed our bags uh, and headed on the road for me. Uh, it was straight to the Brisbane Entertainment Centre, where Shepherd and Delta Goodrum were preparing to open their national tour and go live for charity all in the same night. Lost without you, but I'm on my way to hold tight. Wow, it's very dark. This is backstage at the Brisbane Entertainment Centre. It's the venue for Delta Goodrum's tour. This is night one, so it's very exciting. If you have a look over here, these are the big trucks that bring in all her equipment. They, of course, put big curtains up to block this view off because it's not the prettiest view from the audience. This is also where they're going to be performing for the Big Australia Unites fundraiser for flood victims. Thanks so much, guys. We are here on stage at the Brisbane Entertainment Centre with show-stopping band Shepherd and also Australia's sweetheart. Can I call you Australia's sweetheart? Delta Goodrum. So here, all the crew, they're about to do a sound check, so... George, for a singer, you are also quite the photographer. We saw the amazing flood footage that you took on, you know, the drone footage. Yeah, I'm a pilot in my spare time. That's what I like to do, yeah. <laughs> so tell us about it. Yeah, I mean, it was it was just something. I, I arrived the, the day after these uh, very devastating floods, and uh, the first thing I wanted to do was just try and document some of it, just, uh, you know, from my own records. But then I posted it online, and people were messaging me left, right, and centre. We will see there are remarkable costumes when you perform for Australia Unites, but there's a story behind that and I'd love to hear the story behind it. Yeah, our costumes were made by a Brisbane designer called Isabel Longanew and she's um, yeah, she's a Brizzy local and her studio actually got flooded as well. So How she managed to get it done was uh, Yeah, she incredible. was in a, in a total state, just everything on her lower level was totally flooded. more personal note, there was a, a wedding just recently, is that correct? Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> Fairly recently. Yeah, yeah. And so there was a song written? Yeah, I wrote How a song. Cool. Yeah, it was pretty special. I surprised my husband um, with a song on our wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> George still can't that's get over it. <laughs> that's a brother's reaction. She beat me to it. Yeah. We're going live to the nation right now across Australia from our very first night of the tour. opening up your tour but you were doing yeah. putting your hand up and doing it for Australia Night so yeah. you had a lot on your plate and then they said Delta we need you for Australia and you're like yeah. you're okay it's my opening night and like a, no pressure guys like definitely definitely puts the pressure on but 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 at the same time it doesn't because I sort of look at it like it's fate that we're meant to be in Brisbane and you know we have some of the families that we asked through the Red Cross does anyone want to have a night and and really? be here and you know we sort of put the call out Seven hundred and fifty-one days yep. since this venue has had live music. Yeah, it's and you're and you're the first, <laughs> you're off, the first, first off. You know, and it, it, it's crazy because when I when you think seven hundred days over seven hundred days that nobody's played music in here, you know, it, it breaks my heart. Firstly, for our industry, but also just the fact that. You know, tonight I hope that, you know, it's the first night of, of going around the, the whole country mm -hmm. that hopefully people can leave what's going on outside the door and come in and have a really beautiful night. The album was called Bridge of Tom mm -hmm. Dreams and, and the whole concept really was sort of the fact of the ebbs and flows of your life where you hope that the next moment leads you to, you know, your, your next dream and your next moment, the, the strength to keep climbing and that's kind of what that song is. Am I doing this right? Can you see me tonight? You can 
can sing, you can play the piano. Sometimes. But sometimes. Have, have you ever played the piano knee deep in water? I just want to show you this. Isn't this, this is a moment that was captured. Isn't it just incredible? Yeah. As a musician yourself, I guess yeah. music never dies. The music never dies. Music doesn't, yeah. No, it, the music, it's very powerful and it's, you know, you see that and you just think music's very healing and, and the fact that he can escape for a minute in, it's a, it's a very, you know, it's a very, it really is. It's, it's the continued power to, to keep going. Wow. Yeah, huge thanks to Delta Goodrum and to Shepherd. As yeah. I said, it was their opening night. They hadn't they hadn't done that. It was the, you know, so to, to welcome the cameras in to do it for the mm. nation and, and to let us sort of get a little bit of a glimpse behind that big thick black curtain was really special. Because as we said when they first announced Saturday night a few days, you know, in midweek, yeah. it was like so many people will want to be involved, even if technically and logistically they can't be there in the call centre. Mm. Everyone will want to plug into that. Absolutely. Now as you hit the road too, where did you did, Kylie, to? I did. I went up to